Hello and welcome to the Sun Times Online, DC Martini. My name is Sandeep and today the actor that I'm sitting with is the grandson of one of India's most illustrious singers, Mr. Mukesh Chand. Hello, Neil. Thank you so much. Thank you. The kind of roles that you have actually been a part of, they're very, you know, offbeat for that matter. Right. So was that a conscious decision or a conscious choice? It was conscious always choice? A, a conscious uh, decision right at the start of the career, actually, to be very honest. Uh, uh, just when I started off uh, finding, so we call it in the industry, finding mm -hmm. the right script, mm -hmm. is when I started finding the script, uh, I went through a lot of struggle. I had many, many producers, directors just reject me right away and uh, so I was very disheartened. So I used to constantly try and find work that was very different. Mm -hmm. And coincidentally I met a producer who never shut the door on me. And he kind of understood my talent and he understood that I was finding work which was very different, Mr. Leet Chamu mm -hmm. I met him and he kind of tested me out also. So he offered me two scripts on the same day. Oh. One was a film called Johnny Gaddar and another love story he was making in the same year. Okay. And I happened to read Johnny Gaddar and I instantly lapped on it. I said that this is the perfect script for me to portray my histrionics as an actor mm -hmm. and then eradicate that question of whether an actor, a single son can ever act or mm -hmm. not from the history of filmmaking. I don't want that perception to ever be carried on. Mm -hmm. And I think 12 years later, right now, if I'm having a conversation with you, good man, is, is I think because of that one film. I thought that cinema has to have a rebellious approach. We can't live in a, in a sure. comfortable yeah, cocoon. Exactly. You know, you have to get out, you have to become, uh, uh, you have to challenge yourself every time as a creator, as, a, as an actor, as a producer, as a director, as as, as a writer, mm -hmm. you have to keep reinventing and re-innovating yourself, the, yourself as, as a creative man. You can't become stagnant, it'll, it'll start getting more you know, it'll, it'll start becoming safe. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Neil, in many of your interviews you've said that, you know, um, acting is my passion and singing is my hobby. Now the fact that you actually hail from a family of such illustrious singers, do you feel lucky? I feel blessed. I feel truly blessed that I belong to such an illustrious family, you know, Mukesh Ji, Nitin Mukesh Ji. First of all, and I cannot forget the association between Mr. Mukesh and Mr. Raj Kapoor. Yes, of course. Yeah. So first of all, I, I was going to start from exactly that point, is that for me, film was introduced to me by my grandmother. Yeah. Okay. And my grandmother and I would spend a lot of time together as a child, I would spend a lot of time with my buddy mama, I used to call her buddy mama. So she introduced me to films. She would make me see Raj and Gul's films. So I have seen all Raj Kapoor films over a thousand times. When I got to know my grandfather's profession, I was so elated and so much of pride that my father is doing the same. And I just fell in love with this whole gamut of filmmaking mm -hmm. and and you know being a part of this illustrious family. It took, but. I always took it not in my pride, you know, I took it in my stride. I said, I need to take this legacy forward. When you were doing jail, you know, uh, uh, there were certain scenes which were really talked about a yes. lot. How did you, as full a person, nudity, I yeah, had full nudity, nudity yeah. was there. There was this masturbation scene. For yes. So, I Both mean, of them yeah. had, had two different uh, aspects of the film. There was, but it was portraying the reality. Absolutely. So I'm, as an actor, if I'm going on screen and if I've taken up a subject that I want to get an audience who's not aware of that world, mm -hmm. closer to a subject. See, unfortunately, fortunately, for many of them who know the world behind uh, the four walls, mm -hmm. they understand the film and they relate to it. Absolutely. Up. But there is a massive audience who God willingly has not been there and shouldn't be there. It's yes, a completely yes. dark space. But if as filmmakers, if as actors, if I've taken up a film called Jail and I'm playing the character of Parag Dikshit, mm -hmm. I, it is my prerogative to go there, work to a point where they need to connect with what his mental psyche is, his physical psyche is. Every aspect of me as an actor needs to tell them what really happens behind those four walls. From where do you get the conviction of playing roles that are absolutely negative? I mean, you're <laughs> hurling Sonam Kapoor onto the bed. 
<laughs> the bed. Well, see, what happens is I like portraying characters that I'm not, because people who know me in person know that I'm a very simple, happy-go-lucky, chilled-out guy, and you know, I generally, I I'm snappy. I get angry and stuff, but it's just me being bratty, not mm -hmm. uh, through some really hatred. I don't have that in me. If I ever am angry at somebody, it's more because I am hurt. So if someone's hurt me, is when I react. I generally don't otherwise uh, react at all. I am not somebody who would uh, have anything, um, uh, you know, derogatory to say about anybody. I think everyone's working hard. Everyone's got, you know, a human element about them. I can't be evil, mm -hmm. but because I can't do that in person, and I'm not like that, I want those people who know me and in general my fans to see a s flip side of what characters can be portrayed on screen mm -hmm. so i don't necessarily have to no one would ever ask me how close is this character to you in real life okay. <laughs> it's no, you can't <laughs> it's not at all close to me in real life none of my characters are close to me um, now coming back to mm -hmm. bypass road yeah. you know the film is about home invasion yes now Films on home invasion are not quite made as much in India. We have seen quite a few films in the West. Unfortunately, yeah. Uh, yeah, unfortunately. The whole I, fact is that the country is not making home invasion films. We don't really get to see good home invasion films. Maybe the West is so influenced with the... And they're so educated about the topic already mm -hmm. that uh, I always, as an audience, would wonder why aren't we making films like this when we can get the storytelling happening? You know, I, 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 to be very honest, I get bored at times reading some scripts uh, because we, we run on formulas, you know. Yeah, we do. If, it, if it's a hit film, we make 20, 20 of the same. Exactly. If someone has made a biopic, there'll be 100 biopics now. It's like as if there is nothing else that we can yeah. fictitiously or fictionally make. Fiction is a great, uh, uh, you know, tool for, for storytelling. And for me, as an audience, I love the cinematic experience, to be honest. How much ever I like biopics, and I do respect everybody for the fact that they're making some great biopics also. But for me, the cinematic experience is about a fake world, all created. Get me into a story that I'm not really aware of. Mm -hmm. Make me believe that that world exists, you know? So that is a challenge for me. How did you kind of zero in on Gul Panad playing your stepmother? Oh well, Gul is mesmerizingly beautiful, you know. I needed somebody who's never portrayed dark on screen. Plus she has that class, yeah. you know, about her. Plus she has that beauty about her. And plus she has to be a fantastic actor. So Gul, <coughs> that combination was very difficult to find. Mm -hmm. But our top choice was always Gulpana because she's beautiful. Apart that, she's a very strong performer, a very strong actor. She has that own class that she has always maintained. Yeah, you she know, does. A very, very s strong personality. But we've never seen her play dark. A negative role, exactly. So all the actors on screen are portraying characters that they've never done on screen, which is the challenge and that's the reason why we've cast everyone. Uh, there's Sudhanshu, there's Rajit sir, there's Manish Chaudhary, there's Mukesh Bhatt, there's Tahir, there is Ada, there's Shama. Shama has done a fantastic job. Ada has nailed... She's the girl who gets killed, right? She's the girl who gets killed, but she has a backstory. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Fabulous job she's done. Much has been, you know, talked about and spoken about the fact that, you know, uh, their, uh, your, your song, I mean, your father's song. Yeah. Uh, has been recreated for the film. <coughs> the so you did the vocals for the, for the no, song? No, no, no. Okay. My father has... Oh, so that's just the song that's a yeah. recreated version of the same so song. We recreated the entire song. We originally got it sung by Jubin. He's okay. done... It's a recreation. We didn't take the... We haven't remixed it. We got an original soundtrack created. Okay. And only in the Mukhna we got only So Gaya Ye Jaha. Thanks for, for God for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, only got Papa to re-sing it on a different scale. Okay. So it's not that it's not a remix. It's a completely original track and r composed by Raj Ashu and uh, written by Shabir Bhai. And uh, T-Series, uh, you know, backed us with uh, giving us the rights, the rights to make. Yeah. And they have the music rights even now. It's their song. 
fact that you know you you have never really been a part of any camp for that matter. Ooh, yeah. Um, so is the fact that you know you are doing a film with your brother and you your production venture. This is your production venture, made in production venture. Some kind of a camp starting off plan. <laughs> no, I mean I still would want to believe and still want to reiterate that. I mean, see, camps are basically families. Okay, it's tomorrow if I am happy working with you. I'm m work with you about say hundred times, ten mm -hmm. times, twenty. Just because I'm happy working with you, we have a certain relationship of work. So the word, unfortunate word that has been penned out here is it's called the camp. I've been lucky enough to have worked with many camps, so mm -hmm. I can say that the entire industry is a big family for me. And now I'm starting my own family, so this is a a big joint family, and I'm a part of it. So before I leave, I'm not going to let you sing that song, uh, your father's song. Everybody's already asked you to sing the song. I'll be asking you to sing the Mukhtar Dantra of. Uh, the song that I just mentioned. Okay. Okay. So we'll sing it from beginning. Why not? Zindagi khab hai, khab me jhoot kya, aur bhala sach hai kya? Zindagi khab hai, ek katra main ka jab. पत्थर के होटो पर पड़ा एक कतरा मैं का जब पत्थर के होटो पर पड़ा उसके सीने में भी दिल धड़का ये उसने भी कहा क्या जिंदगी खाब है खाब में झूठ क्या और भला सच है क्या सब सच है इट वाज लवली टॉकिंग टू नीतन मुकेश मैंने मिसल दीप विच इन द सन टाइम ऑनलाइन एसी मार्टिनी थैंक यू सो मच